A long-standing issue between two families in Benke Viejo resulted in a deadly chopping incident over the weekend. The victim is 71-year-old Porfilia Morales, who was on her way to her son's house on Church Street on Saturday morning. The elderly woman was only three doors away when she was viciously attacked with a machete. Estuit Morales was at home waiting on his mother. So when I got up from the sofa to look towards the window, I heard a scream, and I, when I looked there, there was a lady leaning against the far end of the, um, the two-story building that's in front of the park, and she was looking downward, and I couldn't recognize that she was my, my mother, probably because of the blood, right? And I thought a lady is being attacked by dogs, so I immediately ran out to, for, to aid the, the lady when I was on the middle of the street here, yet in front of my house. I noticed that it was my mother that had a slash wound here, and the blood was just splurting all over, and I turned back and I ran into my house to get a towel. At that same time, Jorge Gomez was reclining in a hammock inside his house. He was alerted by someone in his family that an altercation was happening nearby. He did not believe that his brother was the machete-wielding attacker. When I got outside there, um, I saw a lot of people, and one of the persons there told me like how um, my brother has caught chopped the lady. And I said, it can happen because he was cutting. The... But somebody come and told me like how they were discussing by the street there, they were discussing. But he never paid no mind. He never paid no mind to the lady. So he come to this side of the fence, cutting down. He never reached the car, and I think that the lady tell him something. That's why he get upset and he do what he, what he did. Morales had been hacked in the neck. Her son returned to the scene of the incident with a towel in an attempt to stem the bleeding. So I applied the, the towel here to, to try to stop the bleeding, bleeding, but it was already too late because he had already spilled a whole lot of blood. So I noticed that he, um, her chest was um, moving slightly, slowly, and and her lip too, a little pulse here on her lip, and that was it. She didn't say anything. Porfiria Morales was rushed to the hospital in San Ignacio, but there wasn't much that the doctors could do to save her life. She expired while receiving emergency medical attention a short while later. But what precipitated the deadly attack? It's a question we ask both families today. With this lady, a lot of times they, they argue, but it never happened like up today. The last time they went to court, like I told you that the lady said that how this, my brother show him his part and the, the magistrate never find him guilty of nothing because the ladies, the magistrate tell the lady that if she saw the man in his yard, she could just turn around and go. So she make a big issue that how the, he wanted, he broke his, her, her windows and the magistrate tell her that he, he, the report she did was not that. According to Morales' son, the history of enmity between his mother and Miguel Angel Gomez goes back to his childhood. When I was young, for example, I was sleeping here. He passed drunk and he broke the glasses and all the glasses were on top of me. Some, one time he used to tell him, my grandmother and my mother, you two of you should give me your the slang for vagina, right? And but then they left left it like that, right? Because we're because of Christianity, right? And but one time this guy chopped another neighbor with a machete, and they had to rush him to to the Melchor Hospital, and they saved his life. Miguel Angel Gomez has had previous run-ins with the law for other machete attacks he was involved in. His brother says that he has not been mentally sound for quite some time. Police, on the other hand, have charged him with murder. He was um, detained a few minutes later and has since been charged for murder. Do we know what provoked this deadly attack? Well, um, we are following several stories, but for someone to be walking on the street that they live, going to a relative house and just being attacked by a neighbor, we would want to answer all the questions. So yes, we have charged him for the crime committed, but that doesn't mean that we are not canvassing the area to see what we can get that would um, help us to 
find a motive for that murder. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Cayetano.